Hey guys, the mailwoman came again today and she brought me another toy. Uh, this one today is a signal generator that develops a 0 to 10 or 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Now as soon as I post this, I'm going to definitely get comments saying you should just build it yourself. Ain't nobody got time to build it themselves. I mean, I would love to be able to build this, but I got kids to take care of, I got a dog to walk, I got a full-time job, and in the meantime, I try and make a few videos on YouTube as I learn stuff on PLCs. I would love to have the skills to develop something like this, um, but those are not skills that I have at this point. So if you're like me and you just need to have something that can simulate a 4 to 20 milliamp signal or a 0 to 10 volt signal, um, then you should pick one of these guys up. It came in about uh, two weeks from the suppliers. Um, looks like a small company that's uh, just starting up. I'll put a link uh, below. Actually, I think I have their business card right here. So it's these guys right here. And I love little companies that uh, are just starting out that have really good uh, products. So this guy is super simple to uh, set up. We'll take a look at uh, the wiring here. You just provide this guy with 24 volts. It says 12 to 24 volts on the uh, on the power supply. I'll have to check the, uh, the specs and see whether this guy will run off of 12 or whether you have to purchase another one. Um, I got the one that runs off of 24 because I got 24 volts DC coming off of my PLC that I can make use of. Um, and then here you got your zero to 20 milliamps and your zero to 10 volts out with your common connection right there. Uh, it's got a beauty display here. Um, then here it just has, um, let's see, it has a little dip switch here for the display going from zero to 10 and then four to 20 here. Um, if you're like me and you receive this in the mail and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't get my power button that goes on and off and you email them, they'll say, look at the picture, donkey. There's no, uh, so first of all, I'm not sure why they put this on because it just makes you think that you should have an on off switch. Uh, but on the photo of the actual unit, there is no on off switch. So don't email them. Don't worry about the on off. As soon as you put 24 volts, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah, that's about it. It has a uh, potentiometer on the top here. So you can just slowly increase the voltage there. Let me open this guy up so you can see the components inside. So we have that large potentiometer on the front there. There's a couple other pots here. You got your main chip in the center here. Um, looks like from some transistors and stuff. So it's a nice clean design. Everything looks mint. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just fire this guy up and you can see how it, uh, how it works. So what I'll do is I'll give it 24 volts, we'll look at the digital display, and then we'll grab a meter and see um, if it's actually outputting the same voltage as, uh, as we see on the display. Okay, so give me two seconds. All right guys, so I powered this guy up. I got 24 volts here and a common here, so I'm giving it 24 volts. And I'm, right now I'm looking at a zero to 10 volt signal. So there is a display here that goes from uh, 10 volts and then from zero to 200, sorry, zero to 20 milliamps. Um, so you can change it by simply changing this dip switch here. Okay, at the moment I'll be looking at a 0 to 10 volt signal. I'm going to be sending that 0 to 10 volt signal into my uh, S7-1200. So I'm going into the analog input terminals right here on 2M and analog input 0. So this particular S7-1200 that I'm using, the CPU-1212C ACDC relay, uh, only has a 0 to 10 volt input. It has two 0 to 10 volt inputs. You, you, don't, you don't have a 4 to 20 milliamp input on this guy. You're going to have to purchase a separate unit to go with this S7-1200 if you want to look at 4 to 20 milliamps. So if you stick around on the playlist on the next video, I'm going to be taking this 0 to 10 volt signal that we're going to see on this signal generator. I'm going to be punching that into my TA portal. And I'm going to be making use of the Normx and ScaleX functions uh, in order to display exactly what voltage we're seeing here on this digital display. So right now I'm at uh, 4.56 volts here. Let's take my meter leads from my Fluke 112. I'm on DC voltage right now. And let's look at that voltage that's happening there. Let me just get the meter leads out of the way here. Come on, buddy. There we go. So pretty deadly accurate, right? We got 4.55 and on my meter I got 4.57. And we'll just change it to different voltages. So I'll just ramp the voltage down here. So we got what 1.16 and on the meter I am reading 1.19.
Let's see, we got uh, 0.48 and 0.5 on the multimeter. 0.92 and 0.93, so it is deadly accurate, right? Let's see, let's ramp it up as we go. So we got 2.18, 2.2 on the meter. 3.4, let's just wait till it settles down. 3.39 and 3.40 on the meter. And again, this guy goes from zero to 10 volts. So let's try and get it close to five volts here. So I got 5.03, 5.01 on my multimeter. Let's go up to seven and a half. There we go, 7.51 and I got 7.47 on the meter there. And as we go up to 10 volts, the maximum voltage this guy pumps out is 10.03 and on my meter, I'm reading 10.01. So you can see that it has quite a few revolutions here. So it has a good resolution in that I can slowly change the, the voltage going out and whatever voltage it is pumping out and displaying on its meter, the internal meter of the signal generator is deadly accurate with what my fluke is reading here as well. So awesome little uh, unit. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing one of these guys, I'll put again, put the link below. This is a great and easy way to just purchase uh, one unit and be able to develop either a zero to 10 volt signal or a four to 20 milliamp signal. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, then subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video when we take this 0 to 10 volt signal and pump it into our Siemens S7-1200. And using the Normux and Scalex functions, we're going to display uh, this voltage right here uh, on our output of the Scalex. And again, we can use that to scale it to whatever we're looking for, whether we're looking at a, a level, flow, temperature, pressure, <clears throat> any of those guys going in, uh, we can... I'm specifically going to look at this voltage right here, but we could scale this value to whatever units we're looking for on our application. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.